All right. Seriously, gotta start opening this up with an all right. All right. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, all right. I gotta be speak to Reyes, which she is. Oh, the fuck way over here. So I'm gonna. Nope. Crash over here and then fly all the way over there. All right, where the hell am I? Oh, this is where I was with Lockgar. Or, yeah, whatever his name is. I gotta fly all the fuck way over here. I can't really go through, through here. Um... I have to go through here. Something. What? I can. Or maybe not yet. Just look, it's all blocked off. Well, this is another way for me to get over there. But look, there's a uh, there's flu powder here. Here here and here. So I have to go that way. Maybe not yet. Maybe it's uh, it's something not right now. So I'm just going to do this one. Wait, which one is it? Speak to portrait of professor Fitzgerald in the map chamber. Okay. So I'm just gonna go with the main mission because uh, I don't really know where I gotta go. So let's go to the map chamber. Hello, Professor. Where's Professor Fig? Welcome back. Oh, thank you. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. What? Okay. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Sure. I guess if... Oh, wait. There's a mission here. I see it. Okay, so I'm gonna go there because uh, I don't know what else I've got to do. Hello, Hufflepuff. I thought I could count on my friend. Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no, it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow. Who spoiled things? Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So, I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts. Adelaide and Evangeline. Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck. Unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? 
They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms, or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour. But mum's the word. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Oh, come on! Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. Okay. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. Sure. You know, I don't know how to feel about any of what she just said, but, you know, whatever. It's okay to help once in a while, but Jesus. Let's see if I don't get in trouble because Black, Professor, Professor Black. It's kind of a douche. Revelio. Did peeps make you jump? <laughs> Aloha, Aloha Mora. Aloha Mora. Ah, I found it. What's in here? Can bring her. Oh, what? So that's zero one. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me in the Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Okay. Okay, like all I was doing? Oh, yeah, right, right. So that's two. Zero, one, two, three, four. Wait, where is it? No, it's uh, zero, one, two. That's four, so I need six. So six is what? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. That weird salamander thing. There we go. That's three, four, so I need three. Zero, one, two, and three. The three headed Hydra, or whatever the fuck it is. Perfect! Got it. I got a glove. Revelio. What was that? Must be upstairs. Hold on, before I go upstairs. Oh shit! Revelio. I haven't been through here yet. Where the hell am I? Yeah. Oh, well, I, I, just, I just went, uh, fuck it, I don't even know where I went. Is 
Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I pardon, pardon. Okay, so the bells are up here. Revelio. Alohomora. What the hell is that? Akio, Wignardium Leviosa. Ah, found them. I'll have to get those up there somehow. Wignardium Leviosa, perhaps. Akio, Wignardium Leviosa. One up, one to go. Here's the second one missing. Revelio. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Let's go all the way up first before we do what we gotta do. There might be something else here in this tower. Okay, I'll do that. Once I finish this. Okay. Akio. Wingardium Leviosa. Ah, uh, I uh, gotta make it. Akio. Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this. Even if Black isn't. I don't know if that's the right way, but whatever. I did what I came to do. Is that it? Revelio. I think that's it. Okay. Okay, let's go back to um to Evangeline. Hello! I'm done. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Ah, oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. You don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Um, sure. Okay, so the next mission. Surprise meeting. Me Poppy in the Forbidden Forest. Alright. Let's go to the Forbidden Forest and see what she has to say. Hello, Poppy, again. So what's your plan? I can do this. I can do this. They will want to help. Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise. I suppose. Oh, okay. They won't like this. Yeah, they won't like this. I'm not sure about this. I can't imagine they're fond of being surprised. We don't have a choice if we want to help the Snidgets. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. Sure. Our centaurs are known for being wise. Centaurs don't know any more than the rest of us. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What 
do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you. Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care! From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Sidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with Snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? He knows! Isn't moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. He was annoyingly cryptic. I trust him. Centaur no, no things. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him. What with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. Knowing we were about to die. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. We we're about to get cooked. Um It's a dragon. It's a hippogriff. Let me so. Gotcha! There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Poachers. Lyondale's not half as tough as it sounds. I dream of making a better. There's a poacher. Incendio! Oh. Protect up, protect up. You'll 
Too far. Too far. I know what that means. Rebellion. I do too. No, he's had all their teaching in school these days. Oh, Jesus. Um. Revelio. Oh shit, he killed him. Well, it's time for me to fight a troll. Yeah. That's a shrill down. Revelio. I think there's a den here for spiders or whatever the fuck. And I see I see an item here. This place has seen better days. And, and make us back to human form. Well, I gotta defeat them first. Aloha There's a bunch of shit to do in the Forbidden Forest. There's nothing here. Revelio. The only thing that's here that I see is the, is the puff skin. Sorry, little guy. I'll take you out of here. Aloha Mora. There you are. Good feeding, little guy. Aw, you're scared. Aw, I want to save him. All right, so can do that. Bait the a basis of blackmail. 
We gotta go over here. Okay. 